sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. All right, first pie guy here. I'm going to show you how we can install and set up a SDR trunk on a Windows 10 machine. Now, I'm going to do maybe a two-part uh, video on this. Part one, this one will be just basically installing this in Java and uh, recognizing your RTL and making sure that Java is uh, okay in the program. Just the basics. Then uh, the second one, we'll dive more into it a little bit, but we'll see. So anyway, I'll throw a link in the description to my website for this information, but we need to download the uh, SDR trunk. So we're going to come down here and we're going to get the, uh, the Windows install. Then over here on Java, we need to download the uh, Windows. So we can just download this guy, we'll see. Keep. Now what we'll do is maybe I'll just make a folder here <clears throat> to store these two files. Now you don't have to do this, but I'm just going to do it because of the video. And we'll just call it SDR trunk. Then what we can do is I'll just copy them from the uh, downloads right over to that folder here. So let me do that. Desktop. Paste. Okay. So here we go, we have our uh, programs here. We can go ahead and uh, install the Java. <clears throat> Cause we're gonna need that to be able to decode the uh, digital uh, frequencies. I already have this installed so but we'll just reinstall it. Then it asked me if I want to redo it. We'll just say yeah to walk through this. This shouldn't take too long. So we'll just say next, next. All right, so now it's done. So we'll just say close. Now what we can do here is we'll use uh, seven zip to unzip this. Now whatever you got will work, but we'll just unzip it. Now if we open this up and we go under the bin file and scroll down to we get to the SDR trunk batch file, that's what we need to run to start the program. Now what we can do, we can right click, send it to the desktop for a shortcut so you don't have to keep going in and out of this folder, but we'll just do it for this video. So we'll just open this up, give it a couple seconds. And I already have one RTL plugged in, but you can use multiple ones. All right, so here we are. We're up and running. So the first thing we'll want to do is if we go under tuners, you can see it sees my one here. This is the serial number of your uh, RTL, sample rate, frequency, unlock, da 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 so you can set your PPM to auto if you want. If not, you can change it here. 
Uh, this is your sample rate. You can change that if you feel, especially if you're using a slower computer, that might be a good idea. This is the gain for the uh, RTL. So that is something you'll have to mess with. But as you can see, it's making a difference up here. And this is your frequency in megahertz. <clears throat> and if you look real close, right in between here, there's a little dot. So this is 101.5 megahertz. And if you want to change it, you can just highlight it with your cursor. And if you got a trackball in your cursor, you can just go scroll up and down. And that will change the uh, frequency. Or you can left click to go up, right click to go down. If we come up here to file, which that doesn't do very much, but if we go under view, then under user preferences, this is where we'll definitely need to make sure we have the audio library set. Now this is the way yours may look like once we do it, but I'm going to reset it. So from a fresh install, this is the way it's going to be. So what we need to do to get this to work is we need to create library. That's going to bring up another window. <clears throat> and we're going to say yes. Then we're going to click on create. Then we're going to say yes. And then what we're going to do is sit back and wait until this is done then I believe when it's done, it's going to come up with another box. So uh, we'll just pause the video and we'll be back. All right, so you can see that it's compiling here. Unzipped it, downloaded it. So we'll uh, just patiently wait. All right. And as you can see, we got the, the good window that we want, success, so we'll just say OK. And now we're back to where we started from, but this is the way yours should look like. Might, obviously, it might be a little bit different. And while we're here, we're going to go under the audio tab for output. Now up here, you might have to change. <clears throat> what uh, computer speakers you're using or what not. Now you gotta remember, if you use stereo, that's gonna use both of your left and right speakers, but you might hear multiple voices at one time, one from one uh, speaker, one from another, so you might have issues trying to, you know, understand what's going on, so you may wanna run Monto, but mono but that is something that you are going to have to do to make that decision then whatever you click on you can test it to make sure you hear it and if you hear that beeping that just let me know that I got the right output set we can let these go here then we have some other options here these are all by default same way with this we can let all that alone uh, your display however you want you can change it so then we have our channel timestamp format you can change the layout of that <clears throat> phone went off then we have our record depending if you want wave or mp3 which a lot of people obviously would use mp3 then that then obviously the uh, audio tab so we can just click OK with that then if we click now playing, this is where your digital information would pop up. And uh, another thing we can do is we can slide this down if you want. Then 
and you can also slide this up if you want so hopefully this kind of helps out to get you at least installed set up recognized with the rtl get your java good and uh get you playing around with it a little bit but like i said we'll do a part two uh with a little more detail of how to receive uh, p25 and maybe some dmr so stay tuned and uh see you on another one